Uh, before we uh, start today, I'd like to speak directly to the families of the victims who are here with us. On behalf of myself and the Boeing Company, we are sorry, deeply and truly sorry. As a uh, husband and father myself, I'm, uh, I'm heartbroken by your losses. I think about you and your loved ones every day, and I know our entire Boeing team does as well. I know that probably doesn't offer much uh, comfort and healing at this point, but I want you to know that we carry those memories with us every day. And every day, that drives us to improve the safety of our airplanes and our industry. And that will never stop. I'm grateful and humbled to be here today and to be able to say these words to the families directly. And I want to convey our absolute commitment to safety, our commitment to learning, our commitment to rebuilding the public's confidence in what we do, and to uh, preventing accidents from like this, like this from ever, ever happening again. We've enhanced MCAS in three ways. First, it will now compare information from both sensors instead of one before activating. Second, MCAS will only activate a single time. And third, MCAS will never provide more input than a pilot can counteract using the control column alone. Pilots will also continue to have the ability to override MCAS at any time. We've brought the best of Boeing to this effort. We've spent over 100,000 engineering and test hours. We've flown more than 800 test flights. We've conducted simulator sessions with 545 participants from 99 customers and 41 global regulators. I've flown on a couple of flights myself. This has taken longer than expected, but we're committed to getting it right. We've been challenged and changed by these accidents. We've made mistakes and we got some things wrong. We're improving and we're learning and we're continuing to learn.